not the nicest day out, but I guess it's a good day to ride in town. So we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a tour of the Ponca City area. And it's the Ponca City Post Office. Fairly cool 30s Art Deco look. Always like the Art Deco Eagles. Oh, the Ford and Fordson. Fordson being a brand of tractor for those who don't know. Dealership. So if this is like some others I've seen like this when the early Model T's came out, they delivered them crated up and disassembled and they actually would assemble them upstairs and the downstairs would be the showroom. Don't know for sure that's the case here, but I bet you it is. And we've got some nice old signage. Freeman Motor Company, Chandler and Cleveland Cars. Robin Hood Flower Company. You can read that in the picture. Looks like it's been shut down for a lot of years. It looks like one, don't know if it's the only one, of the train stations here in town. Ponca City. I believe that's the first ad I've ever seen for double cola. At the Ponca City Police Station, I can't honestly say I've ever seen anything quite like that. I don't know if that's to tell me that this was a fallout shelter when it was built. That's my assumption. Or if I should be really worried about the Ponca police. I believe this is the Ponca Art Center. Which I'm sure was a, originally a pretty high-end house. Very pretty little street with some nice older houses, big trees. Ponca's, Ponca's a pretty town. oil industry has been kinder to it than because the processing has been here not just the production they appear to have shorted themselves parks when they built this town too which is also a little little unusual for this area of the world this is one of several and an old school water tower with a nice fresh paint job Very cool old neon. And on the corner there is labeled Gill's Mortuary. That is a big funeral home. The cooler donut shops I've seen in a while, or at least it's in an interesting building. An interesting one, too. I don't know what this would have been originally, probably just storefronts. But... I'm assuming this really is another depot. I'm not totally convinced because the tracks are no longer along here, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't the depot. And some rain rolling in and a big ass refinery. And right across here is the Conoco Museum, which is actually a really good museum if you're here in the area. It's free, lots of good activities for kids. Hasn't been updated much since it was built, which I believe was about the time Conoco ceased to exist. Another Art Deco type structure in this case. East Middle School. And every small city needs their Chamber of Commerce. This one with a interesting looking blue buffalo.
another of the many Marlin houses. Actually, there's only two, but I can't remember what they call this one. This is the smaller one. Marlin was one of the major oil pioneers here in town. And this is a museum now. It really is kind of a mansion. Sits up on a nice hill, view over a little lake. Don't know this is if this is actually a back-facing business on the alley. There's one further down the alley, but church architecture is not one of my primary interests, but this is a fairly unique Catholic church here, St. Mary's. These kind of things are never open when you need one the end of a ride. At least not if it's Sunday. Another place that needs to be open that's not. Vortex Brewing, a local brewer. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.